Hey everybody, welcome to another Prison Break Review with me, Scotty V, and good old King Kansas. So today we're going to be talking about Prison Break Season 5, Episode 2, which premiered last night. So I'll give it to you because uh, you want to talk about it more than me. He's too excited. He has to give, share a little bit because, you know, he shared all the fame himself, guys. With all his, the fame with the last his good time. old Thor trailer and whatnot. Yeah, and uh, keep the comments clean next time. Thanks. I appreciate it. Because, you know, when you bite, you poke the bear. The bear bites back sometimes. Yeah. Scotty, just be respectful, guys. We don't care if you don't agree with us not. Just whatever. Anyway, Scotty. Forget about that nonsense. Let's talk about prison break. Exactly. Some serious business. So anyways, yes. guys, the first thing we're going to start talking like we always do for good old prison break, we're going to talk about the opening scene. Mm -hmm. So, Scotty, what do you think of the opening scene of the show? Do you remember it? Yeah, they were in the prison. Yep. They were starting to, they wanted to break out. Mm -hmm. And um, they were waiting for the light to turn off. Exactly. But all you see is explosions going around off around the area exactly the light never went off no nope. uh michael was depending on one of his crew members his new crew guys that to come on i guess on their part to kind of succeed yeah so they can escape and the the good old blackout didn't happen that's what they were after yes so that didn't happen there and of course that sets up uh the next uh situation guys is when we see uh i guess michael decides to do plan b mm-hmm which is to get in contact somehow or get other people to do his work for him. Yep. So what does he do? He sends out that little kid, the little message towards Lincoln, and Lincoln chases him anyways, but then he ends up getting a message after from c because c found this little, yep. is it a crane? It was his signature crane little yeah, thing. Yeah, that origami thing. Okay, and in that one, it pretty much said that you had to find some sort of chic. Mm-hmm. Right? Which was, yeah, chic, yeah. So that's when, you know, Lincoln and c -Note had to go find that girl who helped them mm -hmm. earlier to go in a crazy part of town. Yeah, which is because control. War torn, guys. Yeah, it's like the Rebels or something, Scotty. What yeah. was going on there? They ice. They call it ISIL. Uh, Eiffel, Eiffel, I, I ISIL. I don't know why you call ISIL. It's called ISIS, but whatever. ISIS, that's what, yeah. I, I blame o Obama. I blame Obama because <laughs> he's part of the group. Um... <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so uh, they were going to the border, well, yep. the borderline. The Lincoln bribed the officer to let us to let mm -hmm. them go through. Exactly. Off obviously, the officer's gonna take the bribe. It's American. Yeah, and you didn't think they were gonna come back anyway. So yeah, at least he made some money out of yeah, it. Yeah, he's like, well, you just got a death wish. Exactly. So then they go into the town. They're looking for this guy. They're looking for what his name is. What? The Sheik. They call the him. Sheik. So they're go looking through the town. They see the military, not military, uh, the terrorist groups. Mm -hmm. They're there watching the neighborhood. They think that the neighborhood's empty, but there's actually people hiding. Exactly. So then they find this guy, but they make some noise. That's right, and they get ambushed, guys. You know, yeah. they find this guy with a sheik, and apparently she doesn't want to leave there because, of course, there has to be some sort of complication, Scotty. Yep, what was the problem? You gotta get my daughter. My daughter, she's a And of course, the daughter, what was the daughter, Scotty? She wasn't right next to them. No, she was across the street. Guarded by these oh, yeah. dumb fools. Yeah, dummies. Oh my god, and that's where the fun and the nightmare happened, right, Scotty? Yeah, so Lincoln goes, makes a distraction, the, then they get the, the girl and the kids. Mm -hmm. They they try to run away. Exactly. They do, and then the military shoots the one of the terrorists. The gunmen, yeah, because the they stopped at the border, the checkpoint, the government guys, and they had to because they thought if not, they're, uh, what do you call it, suicide bomber? She said that lady in the car? Yeah. And that's when they took out the other thing, and they were able... To sneak back over. That's right. That that was pretty much their part. So they got this mysterious sheik guy that Michael somehow needs to get mm -hmm. out of prison. And we learn later on that the sheik guy is the father of one of the prisoners. The guy who let him down at the beginning of the show, guys, with the blackout didn't go out. Yeah. So Lincoln puts two to two together, and now they're going to go and proceed with what they're supposed to do. And they kind of did that in the episode. But before we even continue on that, guys, we forgot... Good old Sarah actually got that footage from Lincoln from sent to her phone, and she almost had a heart attack, I'm going to say. Yep. Like, she's seen a ghost. She couldn't believe what she was seeing. Yep. Yeah. And she went to the F the FBI she went to? That FBI agent there. I, I can't remember his name, but he's in the show, and that kind of threw her for another loop. It's like, yep. what the hell are you so doing So when here? she saw Paul... That's him. She's like... Oh, yeah, I wanted to talk to someone. I don't want to talk to you. Exactly, because he's the one who kind of like did that double dealing back, whatever you want to call it, in the end of last yeah, and season four. She, and she was tortured by him. Yes, she like, was. crazy. 
and um, I would have and there was, shot him. Yeah, and then there was a big revelation that Michael Schofield never existed. Yeah, they're trying to supposedly his identity got changed, and they had secret footage somehow he came up with with Michael killing a higher FBI. So like, so like when season one, how they framed Lincoln? Lincoln, they did the same they're thing to him with Michael. So I was so confused. I'm like, wait, but that's Michael. But now you're saying he's not Michael? Yeah, it's this uh, whatever the hell that name on the inside of the jacket was called. Yeah, like, the guy, the guy that they on. killed, Otis, or I can't even remember. Yeah, his so name the guy they stupid. killed is now Michael's identity. I think something like that. So yeah, they were just trying to delete him. Who knows what their big plans are, guys, and whatnot. And then of course another part with Sarah is when near the end when she was looking for little Mike, mm -hmm. and she she go, oh my god, did he get kidnapped or whatever the hell? Yeah. But before that, even Scotty. Uh, inside the jail, one of the his crew members was kind of like going through shock because he was trying, I guess, coming clean after getting off drugs. Yep. So Michael kind of set plan B and he got himself beat up, up in the medical office, got some pills because, of course, good old Schofield doesn't do stuff for no reason, right? Mm -hmm. He's thinking ahead. So he basically got medication so he can give it to this guy who has his own connections, cell phone, and... Uh, what was it? A credit card? A credit card. And the king put it together. I think you put it together too. And now we can go back to Sarah looking for little Mike. And then she finds his little son with this little balloon looking yeah. windmill. I don't even know what the hell. Yeah. I think it was a balloon. Was it a balloon, Scotty, or it a flower? It was a flower. flower. And he's like, and uh, Sarah's like, where are you going? I'm tr and Mike is like, I'm trying to find the pizza man. In jail. What, did, what was the joke that Schofield made? He goes, I want to order a pizza. So you put two to the two together, he needed a credit card so you can have a delivery guy go and actually send a message to Sarah to basically, I guess, hide all the people that are important to you. So that's kind of like a wink, wink, eh? Yep. To confirm that it is really him. Mm -hmm. And who knows what the hell or what kind of trouble he's got himself into this time. Yep. You know? Let's move on. Okay, Scotty. The, the last thing I want to talk about is, yeah, the time was up, right? Because they, they knew that plan B was going to happen and whatever the hell. Because mm -hmm. uh, they figured out, because they shot the lights off twice. It was like a signal in the jail that the power went off twice. And that's how they knew that they had 24 hours to get the hell out of here and do their escape. But they were worried about that uh, prisoner at the beginning. That Mr. I'm going to call him Bin Laden wannabe. Uh, whatever. Like, he's the bad guy that was cr uh, creating all that chaos that was going in Yemen. That's mm -hmm. the Middle Eastern thing that we couldn't even remember last, last time, time, Scotty. And, uh, yeah, he's like, uh-oh, they're going to release those guys that he's in the same prison as Michael. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, you know, and they were scared shitless pretty much that they go in the population that they're going to kill them and whatnot. And the coolest part is, Scotty, I'm telling you, I was like, oh, this is going to be good, is when he actually gets out, they open the door and he walks out and he's doing those little bead things or whatever in his fingers. He does his little prayer and then he looks right at Michael, walks towards him, and they have that stare at I'm thinking, oh God, this is going to be good. And what happens? Tell him, Scotty, what happens there? They hug each other. It's like, are you God? Ki you're kidding me for God's sakes? Yeah, I was like, I, like, like I wasn't already confused. That was a good, yeah, the plot was back and forth. It's like, so he does know him and he called him brother. So now you're like, did he really do what he did on that footage or what what the hell is going on with this whole it's a bigger picture which is good Scotty that's what we want we want to be confused because if we can pick out exactly what the hell is going to go on then what's the point of watching the show right because then we might as well write the show ourselves right but that was cool him hugging like that and that's kind of pretty much how it ended off there mm -hmm. Scotty until episode three kicks around so anyway Scotty Overall, how did you like uh, episode number two? I enjoyed it. Was it better than number one for you? No, but it was better. Like, I loved it. I liked it. It wasn't amazing. It was, it was okay. It was good. It was not bad for an episode yeah. number two to progress the storyline and whatnot, right? Because now you got more players in the picture. I wonder where uh, T-Bag is. He's still in the Conspiring. States. Conspiring. So who knows? I think next episode we'll see him. Uh, what's going to go on with there. So uh, any idea what, what direction you think it'll go from here, Scotty? Any clue? No. I'm just going to wait till next week. You're just going to wait? We're not going to speculate. We'll start speculating officially by, you know, six or seven because it'll be two episodes left. Mm -hmm. And then we can kind of have an idea exactly what we're thinking, how it's going to end or if it's going to continue for another season. Who knows? Yeah. Um, well, that's pretty much it, guys. I was going to say something about Michael's plans or what I think, but at this point... That last scene in the show, that episode, confused the hell out of me. So now I'm kind of wondering, what did he purposely put himself in there? Is he going after this guy and kind of being buddies with him? 
because there was a hospital scene, Scotty, before we let the guys go, that Sarah went to go talk to her husband mm -hmm. about Michael being yep. maybe possibly alive and why would he do the things that he's doing. Mm -hmm. So I'm not trusting that husband. I'm yeah. having a funny yeah, me feeling too. he has something to do because, with this whole because, scenario. Uh, because how does he know what to do? He's too calm, Scotty. Like, I would be like, oh, God, this guy is alive. My life is going to start to fall apart. But he kind of remained very calm in his little hospital bed and asking her, are you okay? Are you this? Yeah, he was too calm. Yeah, something's up with that, guys, with the FBI agent, him. Who knows? We're speculating. But anyways, guys, I love the episode. Scotty loves the episode. Well done. I love episode two. It was good. Hopefully, it's going to pick up a little bit more next episode. And yep. that's it. So, I guess, guys, that's all we have to say for this uh, recap rundown of episode number two of Prison Break. Season 5. So, Scotty, tell the uh, good old people at home what they can do. So, if you guys like this review, hit a like, share, subscribe. Uh, we did our uh, Transformers final trailer reaction, so go check that out. Wicked trailer, guys. Also, check out our Thor Ragnarok reaction. Scotty's reaction. My Priceless. Stuff. I... Unreal. I think he was more happier for that than Homecoming. Oh, yeah, I was. So Because it's um, it's my anticipated movie. He's number one on his list. He said yeah. it over Spidey, which I was kind of surprised, but Spidey after seeing that... I don't think Spider-Man made my list, did it? No. It didn't. No. That's what I'm saying. You're a big Spidey fan, so and it didn't make my list either. We know what we picked. Transformers, Thor, Logan. Yep, and Logan delivered. I picked Wonder Woman. He picked Thor. That yep. was the only difference from us, just to kind of see... Yeah. Anyways, I think we rambled enough, Scott. I think so. All right, guys. Okay. So you know what to do. All right. Be good.